Oh my gosh. Oh gosh, I just got hit with a nostalgia attack. This is so juicy. Hey, thecomputerclan.com. There's our website, man, and Netscape Communicator. Ooh, I can't even move my mouse cursor now. This is gonna be great. Shit, oh, frick on a stick. Insert, what I just do? I, I saw two empty squares show up and now, uh, oh. Okay, I inserted empty squares. Well, thank you, clip art, for being completely useless. I was born for this moment. Oh, f Hey guys, how you all doing? Really? That's just great. You know, I'm doing pretty great today too because there's a Power Macintosh G3 beige mini tower sitting right next to me. I have the blue and white G3, but I've never had a beige G3 until now. This was actually sold to me by my buddy Steve, who has donated a lot of other great tech shit to my lair, which is really generous. And he has an eBay store, so if you want to check out some of the other stuff he has for sale, check the link in the description and see what he has for you. We'll uh, have some fun with that. Oh. Is that supposed to happen? We'll just say yes. We'll take a look at the outside, take a look at the inside, and then we'll try to get it booted up. Hopefully it works, and uh, see what's on the hard disk and see what we can do with it. But, I'm not done just yet. This wasn't the only thing he included. He also gave me this. Bon Appetit! He also sold me this Apple monitor, which is really cool because I do not have a standalone Apple CRT monitor in my collection aside from the monochrome one. This is a multiple scan 720, just rolls right off the tongue. And I was really excited about that because I wanted to have a period product to fit the period desktop, but then I noticed something that made me a little sad and a little confused. Before I show it, I just want to say in the listing, he shows the computer in a photograph fully working with the monitor. But when I received the monitor, I noticed this. This particular Mac video interface for the monitor uses DB15, named because it has 15 pins. How clever. However, I noticed that pins 3 and pins 8 were magically missing. So between the time I picked up the monitor and the time he took the photo, two pins magically vanished? Or maybe the pins were already gone and the monitor still somehow works. I really have no idea. I never tested it. I don't like to test stuff out when you're not watching. That's stupid. We're gonna test it together and see what happens. Before we go further with the actual testing of the system, let's have a look on the inside and take a look at the I.O. on the back. All right, we're gonna press the magic green button and off pops the lid. I've actually never opened this particular model before. I'm guessing, wow. There's like latches in here, so that's a start. Okay, so I spent a quick minute looking it up and funny story, I was actually doing it correctly. Uh, to present it better though, I should have it rotated this way. And the problem with this latch was nothing. It was just really, really stuck. There we go. I'm not sure on the full specs of the system just yet, but I'm sure we'll figure that out soon. Right here we have the AV card. Looks like we have certain AV components or uh, AV jacks and stuff on the back. RAM and the G3 processor is under that heatsink there. There's our good friend, the Apple logo. It's always cool looking at that stuff on the boards. Just chilling out right up here is the hard disk and then the power supply is there. And then we have the floppy CD-ROM drive and zip drive all in this area. Okay, everything looks pretty good there. Let's take a look at the back. Oh, you need to shed a few pounds, man. Just a few pounds. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm not balancing this very well. This is actually <laughs> pretty stupid, but we're gonna do it anyway. So here's the AV stuff I was talking about. Power, exhaust, expansion slots, if you do wanna throw some in there. There's a, quite an interesting story behind the prototype version of this computer. The Power Express model specifically had a lot of expansion slots, but when Steve Jobs came back to Apple, he was like, eh, and uh, they changed a few things and went down to just three. Actually, in my Apple Prototypes episode with Hap, he talks about that, so go check that out. 
And here we have Scuzzy and the dreaded DB15. Ooh, the port isn't evil, but the cable on the monitor might be evil. I'm very curious to see if it actually works. Okay, let's set it all up, power it on, and pray the monitor works. If it doesn't, I have a backup solution. It's not gonna look as pretty, but it'll work. Ah, uh, ho! Oh, I sat down and just bashed my jaw into the f Okay, let's hook it up. I need two power cords. They're over here. I'm looking in all the wrong places. And if I had the right type of cord, I could actually just power the monitor off of the tower, but I don't. Now the monitor. Ah, the nice hum sound of a CRT. And here is one of our potential roadblocks here. It has those two pins missing, but we're gonna see it was working in the guy's photo. Well, you and I are gonna find out together. It would really suck if this monitor doesn't work. Power it up. Ah, love that sound. Whoa, static. Yo, we got picture. Hell yeah. I'm, I'm so happy. This is great. So the question is, were those pins even needed? Like, is it normal for them to be gone? I don't know, I, I've never had one of these particular monitors. Mac OS 8.6. I don't think I've used 8.6 before. This is gonna be fun. Oh my gosh, that CRT is so crisp. Booting up. Mmm, <coughs> nice dusty exhaust vent. I love those. Okay, this display looks freaking awesome. Color looks good, looks really, uh, <laughs> really sharp. Whoa, okay, it's a big Apple menu. Looks like there's a lot of stuff on here. Oh, I see a Photoshop icon. So yeah, I think we're gonna have some fun with Photoshop too. I see a brightness and contrast dial here. I'm guessing this is an on-screen display sort of menu. Cool. Let's see, how do we... Okay, that's the brightness. I'm guessing it's this dial. There we go. Language recall. Oh, you know, um, oh, more parallelogram, trapezoid. So if you need to change shapes and all that good shit, you can do that in there. Cool, man. I remember messing around with this stuff with the CRTs like in middle school. Anyway, degaussing is always fun. Woo! So if you have magnetic damage, boom. You fixed it. Congratulations. Word, world clock, acrobat, reader, the system profiler, which we will look at. Just look at all these things in the Apple menu. Real player, basic. Norton Utilities, that's a mistake. Ha ha, just kidding, don't know what I'm talking about. Let's do a little exploring. Oh, I took out a mouse pad and it still doesn't work. Sometimes I have to flip the mouse pad over and then it works fine. Also, it looks like we have some things down here. Stuff at Expander, email ads, interesting. Oh, this is a, this is a recipe. Hi, Dan, here's the recipe I told you about. Dressing, one cup of mayonnaise, or a quarter cup of mayonnaise, strawberry onion salad. Huh. Never thought about that flavor profile before, but I'm sure it is great. Okay, ooh, a ducks folder. He stores his ducks on his computer, genius. No one would ever expect to look there. Oh, it's literally ducks. What did this open in, QuickTime? JPEG view. Open in JPEG view, well, there we go. Asked and answered. So there's some ducks in there, that's great. Card.psd, I'm excited that Photoshop is on here. Photoshop 5. There's those eyeballs again. I tell you, everything had eyeballs at one time. Merry Christmas. Oh, the leg lamp. Isn't that nice? Oh, check out that leg. Mm -hmm. I think what we need to do first, though, is uh, spice up the desktop just a little bit. Uh, let's do um, let's do arrange by name. Clean that up uh, just a skosh, and then we'll go to the control panel and go to appearance. Do that. Do that. It's nice to do that. Platinum soundtrack. I mean, I like. I like the little sounds. We should crank those up. I'll crank those up in a bit. Desktop. Ooh, lollipop. Different themes. Oh, actually, this might be fun. Rosewill. Oh yeah, the little uh, spaceship UFO flying saucer wallpaper. I dig. You know, some orange would be nice. I'm actually digging the orange. Let's do that. I rarely use anything orange, so that's cool. Well, thank you. Let's turn up the volume. Let's turn that up. 
There we go. Well. Now we can enjoy all of our sound effects. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I like it. It feels, uh, it just feels cool. I don't know if I could use that as a daily driver sort of thing, like on a current Mac, but that's just a lot of fun, hearing all the sounds. Like it's, I don't know, I like it. Okay, programs, we have a lot of stuff on here. We already briefly looked at Photoshop 5. Illustrator 6 is on here too, wow. I don't think I've ever used a version of Illustrator that old before, so let's bust it open. Ah, two eyes in this one, as opposed to just a one eye. That's very nice, We're shaking things up a little bit, aren't we, Adobe? I guess we could make some sort of drawing. Uh, huh. Ooh, fonts, there's a lot in there. Good old pen. I don't have a keyboard, so using the pen tool is going to be kind of a bitch, because right now I would hold down the option key to adjust one of the handles. Oh, without having a keyboard, man. This is really weird, but I, it's an abstract, just like what Lisa drew in the Steve Jobs movie. Actually, yeah, this is, this is becoming some kind of artsy-fartsy thing. You know what? Somewhere, there's a painting that looks just like this that's probably worth two million dollars? Oh, you even get the sound effects in here, too. That's great. Basic concepts. Drawing. Oh, of course. Don't have the help disk. Yeah, screw that. Nope. Ain't going there. Oh, Microsoft Word. What version of Word? Word Mac 2001. Wow. Dang, dude. That's newer than the operating system. Yeah, Mac OS computer. 8.6. Actually, quick diversion while we're here. I did say we would look at the profiler, the system profiler. Let's take a quick look. 768 megs of RAM, 266 megahertz power PCG3, not too shabby. We have our hard disk here. Six gigs. Well, this baby just screams, don't it? All right, so we're in Word here, and it looks like we have no toolbars, and that just looks so barren. Oh no, don't do that. I want you to take up the whole screen. Just take up the whole friggin' screen. Are there really no toolbars? Because there was like toolbars out the wazoo in the other older versions and in the newer versions there are, of course. Uh, yeah, there's gotta be something. Formatting palette? Okay, so that's like an inspector window sort of thing. Toolbars, yay! I'm so happy. Oh shit, we're gonna make this thing like a like a 90 year old grandpa's web browser. Oh shit. I shouldn't say that because I've seen people probably younger than that that have toolbars in their web browsers that are down to here. So, who am I to speak? Okay, let's go. Oh yes, word art. We're gonna be doing some word art shit. Oh, we got some uh, opaque window movement. Ah, because this is probably a carbonized application. Yes. This is interesting though, like, they float, can they be docked? I guess they kind of can if you like, I don't know. But that's okay. We need to make some word art, come on, like, you know, we're, what the shit? I closed the toolbar and made a little flute noise? Okay, uh, yes, we need to create some word art just like we're back in elementary school. And of course that is relative because I have a bunch of different people of a bunch of different ages who will be watching this. But when, let's just say me, when I was in elementary school, that was all the rage. Okay, we're gonna insert some word art as soon as I figure out how to do it. So we'll go to, wait, word 5.1 menu. Oh, okay, that's a thing. We did a thing right there. I don't know if that's the thing I wanted to do though. Oh, there we go. We have auto shapes and word art. Okay, well, let's go back to word art then. Ah, uh -huh, yes, oh. Oh my gosh, oh gosh, I just got hit with a nostalgia attack. This is so juicy. Yeah, I remember this. This is, yeah, 2001, yeah. I think Microsoft Office 2001 was the first version I used. It was a, you know, the Windows version. But yeah, a lot of similarities. Oh yeah, this is the shit right here. Your text here, I should get a keyboard. I'm gonna be hot plugging, <laughs> hot plugging. I have to hot plug the thing because there's only one ADB port on here. I know some people are like, oh, you shouldn't hot plug ADB, but then other people are like, yeah, it's just fine. So whatever, I'm gonna do it anyway. Now that we have our lovely keyboard in place, which I think was also included with the sale. So thank you again, Steve. Let's type some stuff. I'm gonna bust out my calling card, my classic conversion technology. Arial Black, well, I don't know, maybe a Helvetica. Oh, italic, that looks like crap. 
Bold italic. Oh no, that looks crappier. Bold. Okay, we'll do it that way. There we go. Conversion technology, the movie. I'm gonna make my beautiful conversion technology movie poster. Oh, just check out that resolution. It's beautiful. You know what? I think this could use some clip art. Oh shoot, that's oh I just broke it. I broke everything. I'm gonna move that up there. Okay. Let's insert some clip art. Picture, clip art. Hey, the clip gallery. This was another thing I used quite a bit in uh the days of old, which weren't really that old. Everything's relative. Hey hey. So a lot of categories. Dang, dude. Are there really only six items? Well, close enough. Oh wait, these are subcategories? I think these are subcategories. Wait, shit, shit. Oh, frick on a stick. Insert, what I just do? I I saw two empty squares show up and now, uh, oh. Okay, I inserted empty squares. Well, thank you, clip art, for being completely useless. Yeah, something must not be uh, fully installed or something, because that did not work out, should. Well, that was enough fun in Microsoft Word. I'm gonna say don't save. Ah, the old graphing calculator, the built-in utility. This is always so much fun to just futz with. Oh, it's doing some stuff. Oh, we got a sine wave going on now. Those are fun. So I'm, I'm guessing that's an exponential curve. Ooh, that's a fun one. Yeah. Okay, how about, oh, they got a, they got a slider moving. I was like, how the shit did you graph that, you asshole? Just, oh, that's fun. Cool, that's always fun. You know, if you don't have an internet connection. What are the programs around this bad boy? Real player basic. Oh, oh, there's a song on here. Yeah, so we could use that, or I guess we could use QuickTime player. QuickTime's pretty BA, huh? Yeah. Look at that brushed metal. Mm -mm -mm. Delicious. What version is this? Three? Four? Five. Yeah, I'm clearly very good at this. Wonder if that QuickTime sample movie is on here. Let's ask Sherlock. Ooh boy. Oh, do we have an older version in here too? It's a simple text movie, <laughs> I guess. Ooh, I can't even move my mouse cursor now. This is gonna be great. Don't explode on me, please. Ah, uh, but yeah, uh, we broke it. And command option escape is not doing jack shit. I think we broke it. It's all frozen. Mouse cursor won't move either. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not giving up though. This will be a simple fix. All we gotta do is spank it a few times, you know, hit the reset button. I think there's a reset button on here. Maybe there isn't. Okay, that was a development. There is not a reset button on here. But I can do Apple control power button and do that. Okay, we've been sitting at this black screen for probably almost a minute now. And the power light on the power Macintosh is off, even though I invoked a restart. Oh. I just pressed it again and now it all turned off. Okay. Unusual. I thought that was a restart command. It was supposed to restart, right? I'm so lost. Okay, press it again. There we go. Now I have a green light. And we're gonna get flicker hell for a moment before uh, switch res kicks in. There we go, we are back in action. Okay, so I won't do that again. Ah, uh, yes. That is not the version I was thinking about, but that is still really cool. That is the very old version. Let's see if this is the newer one. Yeah. Oh, that just warms my heart and makes me feel all fuzzy inside. You know what would be fun? Getting this thing online. I have some ethernet here. There's a jack on the back, and I believe Netscape was on here. Let's try it out. Here we go, inserting cable. Okie dokie, let's have a look. Control panel, TCP IP, ethernet. All right, let's switch into Netscape and enjoy my complete failure. Oh. Oh, that's just a security warning. Oh, 
Oh, we're getting somewhere. Hey, thecomputerclan.com. There's our website, man, in Netscape Communicator. What version, four? Netscape Communicator version four. Look at that. Because our technology is not as beefy as apple.com, so our website still shows up. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is great. Hey, this is the show you're watching right now. Uh, this is what it looks like in this browser. Check out that shit. Let's take a look at what video series the Computer Clan has to offer. Oh yeah, those old loading icons, you know, super graphical loading icons, so you had something entertaining to watch while you waited for a page to load for like 15 minutes. Oh my gosh. It's green. Why is it green? <laughs> this is great. Uh, what's another website I like? Um, Apple.com apparently will not work. Uh, probably anything with like modern SSL shit probably won't work. Uh, okay, well, I, I had a feeling I actually could get to Google because Google should be accessed from like everywhere. You kind of need it. It's important. But yeah, this looks great. It looks like we time traveled right back to 1998, except we still have the new Google logo. Uh, let's just search Apple. Yeah, and I bet if I click, it's gonna give me that thing. I can't even get to it anyway. Oh, you know what? Actually, hang on a second. Let me go back to that quick. I forgot where this was stored. I just used Sherlock because I'm lazy. Oh, it's in the internet folder. Oh, wow. Never would have guessed. Okay, let's go to thecomputerclan.com slash wallpapers dot html. Uh, I doubt it's gonna be able to parse our gallery. Well, it actually might. Let's do squirrel. All right, we're pulling a live wallpaper from our website on a Power Macintosh G3 mini tower through Netscape Communicator 4. Look at that, it's painting right now. Watch that go. Watch the stars shoot by. Or the meteors, I guess. <laughs> it's a big file. <laughs> Still going. Ooh boy, I gotta find the squirrel. It's probably in the middle of the picture. There's our squirrel. Hi, squirrel! Wow, that squirrel looks really nice. I shot that, by the way. I didn't shoot the squirrel. I meant I shot the photo. I wouldn't shoot an animal. Anyway, let's uh, let's save this somewhere, huh? Save as, and we'll put it in the... I'm just gonna save it in the root of the hard disk because I'm lazy. Beautiful. I probably have to compress that if I want to use that as a wallpaper on the actual system. But that's why we have Photoshop. File. Import. Nope. Oh, all this manual labor. Let's try... I'm probably going to break the clipboard by putting a 4 megabyte file on it. Can I just drag this in here? Nope. Can I copy it and paste it? Nope. Oh man, am I really that dumb? Do I not know how to import a photo into Photoshop 5? It's a JPEG, is that too new? Actually, that might be. Not enough, <laughs> not enough memory to load squirrel.jpg. Yeah, the JPEG viewer, obviously, is what we need to use here. But no, not enough memory. Yeah, my squirrel is just too, too intense, man. The world is not ready for this squirrel. Paris. Paris. Oh. Not the real Paris, but the Vegas Paris. Okay, that's Diet Paris. Games, here we go. Crystal Caliburn and Dominoes. Hmm, don't know what this one is. Let's find out. Uh, what? Monitor to be set to 8-bit color mode. Yeah, 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 do you wanna change mode now? Change. Yeah, designed and developed by Little Wing. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Oh shit, this is some pinball shit. Oh man. New game. I was born for this moment. Oh, f <laughs> Okay, okay. So on Space Cadet, you hold down the space bar to deploy the ball, um, but apparently that's the tilt button on here. Oops. Um, let's try that again, right? Um, I, I, okay. Abort mission, I'm gonna restart. I'm just gonna press buttons until something happens. How do you deploy the friggin' ball? I got the flippy flips.
Come on, I need help. Apparently I need to read the uh, PDF. Yes, I need to learn how to play friggin' pinball. Plunger, I was holding down shift. I did shift. What, the? I already pressed that. Did I not press it right? Oh, come on. Third time's the charm. Oh shit, my stool. <laughs> All right, coin, thing. I'm pressing shift, dude. Bro. You asshole. You clearly just don't want to cooperate in this relationship. I see how it is. Okay, so we're just gonna have it play itself. The king approaches. Well, oh, that was fine and dandy. So earlier I briefly talked about the AV capabilities of this computer, so why don't we try them out? I have my trusty Namco 5-in-1 TV games console. Boy, childhood memories there. So we're gonna hook this up and play some games and essentially use this computer to display the signal. But it's a little bit different than what I did with my Macintosh TV, but we'll talk about that more in a sec. Okay, now that that's hooked up, let's take a look at the operating system and see what we can do. Okay, back at the UFO screen, my favorite. So I believe there's a program on here, which I've actually never had a computer before or an old Mac before with this built-in capability, so this is new to me. But I did see something on the hard disk earlier that had a similar icon that I recognized, the Apple in like a television, Apple video player. All right, so, as I was talking about earlier, the Macintosh TV has a similar feature to this where you can plug in composite RCA cables and show video on the Macintosh screen and use it as a television, basically. You can even put a TV tuner in there. And I did similar stuff to that in another episode, so I highly recommend checking that out. However, this is different, ladies and gentlemen. This is PowerPC we're talking about. We have way more performance than a 68K Macintosh TV. So on the Macintosh TV, you could either show the desktop or switch to the RCA video signal. But in here, we can actually show the video signal inside the desktop, and it looks like we can even capture picture, capture movie, so we can record as well. So, you know, if you have your old PlayStation, you wanna do some old capture card stuff, you don't need to get a new PC with an Elgato capture card or anything. Just get one of these old Macintoshes and a, a good monitor and, you know, plug your shit in and use the video capture app. <laughs> okay, so let's turn this on. Hey, first try, look at that. Miss Pac-Man, boom, right there. And uh, I think we have sound too. Oh, that's amazing. So we can probably change that here, yeah. Pretty obvious. So cool. Miss Pac-Man maybe, just a little Miss Pac-Man. Test it out. Oh, I wish I had that speed up hack. I'm not so good at the slow version. I like fast. Gotta go fast. No, oh, Pinky, you asshole! Right, so I'm gonna pause there for a sec, and I'm gonna capture the movie. Let's see, note. Reducing the size of the video window will improve the quality of the recorded movie. Quality as in what? Quality is measured in many different ways, so... I don't know. I'll just, uh... Keep it kind of small, I guess. So, let's hit record. All right, we got a red light, so it's going. And let's capture some video game footage, hell yeah. Oh my gosh, this is really bad. I am not on my game today. Also, this controller is kind of wonky. It's really not that steady. You gotta like really hold on to the, the console and jam the stick back and forth. It's kind of weird. It's not the most comfortable. Give me those cherries, boy! Oh shit, that ain't worth it. That was a stupid idea. I went for the sun and I burned my wings. Okay, so now let's hit stop. Let's see what happens here. Compressing movie, 1400 frames. Okay, so we're gonna be here for a little bit. And it's modal. All right, so now we know that. I can't do anything else on the system while this is running, but it looks like I still have video playback here. So even though I can't click around, I can still play pole position. <laughs> this is gonna be really hard, I can't see shit. <laughs> um, okay, uh... 
This is gonna be a challenge. When's the turn coming? Okay, there's a turn. This is gonna be really hard. Shoot. It's gonna get really hard when there's other cars on the track and I can't see them! That was bad. Shift. Shift! Oh, there's that sign. That's helping me, at least. I'm impressed. I got fifth place and I couldn't even see a quarter of the screen. That's not too bad. All right, so let's let that video keep going there. All right, we got about 100 frames left. Ah, listen to that hard drive. Oh, yeah. All right, we'll just call it movie one because we're cool like that. It looks like there's an unnamed thing on the desktop. That's fun. We can get a little preview right here. Pretty sweet. And go ahead and save that. Let's hide that out of the way. Movie one. So, I wonder. Probably just opens in quick time, I'd imagine. Or not. It opened in simple text because that makes sense. <laughs> Uh, yes, yeah, Simple Text did have video playback capabilities. QuickTime Player. Okay, it's loading that up. Let's have a look. So this was encoded. Oh, slow down there. This was encoded at 31 frames per second. Interesting. It must have had like a variable frame rate, and it averaged at 31. That's. But the playing frame rate is. Yep, 30.9599, 31.33, so it was using a variable frame rate. Fascinating. Format, yep, Apple Video, which was the original Road Pizza. This might be a slightly newer version of Road Pizza that supports more colors and stuff, but Apple Video was the original Road Pizza codec for QuickTime. And it looks like that's just what that uses here, but it lets me scrub it. Let's take a look. Playback is smooth. It's not in sync, though. Yeah, I ate the... Well, hey, I didn't give you permission to do that, you asshole. Yeah, I ate the ghost, but you didn't hear the sound until about a second later. So the sound is about a second behind, but the frame rate is smooth, at least. Oh, uh, yes, check out that graphic. That's the TV thing I was thinking about earlier. Power Macintosh. Oh, and look at this. We can change the window color, just like with the CD player application. Well, that's nice. I like that green. Gold will kind of match the background there. But yeah, let's... uh. Stick out a little bit, a little bit more. That green is nice. All right, setup, hotkey, preferences. Let's see. Different movie compression options. I don't know. Maybe that would have helped with the syncing issue. I'm not too concerned with that right now, though. And PAL CCAM NTSC. Since we're in North America, ten stories underground, but still in North America, we have NTSC, so we'll use that. And um, two empty menus, I guess. Two empty menus. All right, for whatever you need to, you have leftovers. You can just storm right in there. Thanks again, Steve, for selling this to me and for all the other donations you've given me. I'm showing more of that stuff in future episodes, so guys, stick around for those. And check out his eBay store if you want to get some stuff for yourself. This was fun. I like this. And that monitor is pretty. Thanks for sticking around with me. Oh, Semantic Norton Filesaver is scanning the hard drive for problems. <laughs> yeah, I think we're okay. Catch the crazy and pass it on.